What's up guys? So, I'm in the car right now. I had to take a ride to cool off because I'm really, really angry. Really, really angry. Which brings me to our subject for today. Today in our series, and we're talking about how do we feel, we're gonna discuss how we feel when we are angry. So, take a look at this video. Hi there, Builder Buddies. Listen up, have I got a story for you. Whenever you don't know what to do with your feelings, the best thing to listen to is a story from God's Word. Do my Builder Buddies know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right! This true story from God's Word is about Nehemiah. Can you say Nehemiah? Nehemiah! Nehemiah had moved to the king's palace and was one of the king's best helpers. One day, Nehemiah heard that the walls in his hometown were falling down. Nehemiah was upset because this meant that the people there were not safe. Nehemiah wanted to go home and help, and when he asked the king for permission to go, the king said yes. While Nehemiah and his friends were busy working on the wall, there were some people who became very angry. They shouted mean things and made fun of Nehemiah and the people working to rebuild the wall. This made Nehemiah mad, but he prayed and asked God to help him not let his anger make him do wrong things. God heard Nehemiah's prayer and he helped him do what was right. God even helped Nehemiah and his friends rebuild the wall in record time. When you are feeling mad, God wants to help you too. Thanks for listening. Now that's crazy. We can actually be angry, but not let the anger control us. Let's dig a little bit deeper on this one. Hey everybody, listen up. Here's what God has to say. Aw oh, yeah, what you got for us today? Well, have you ever been so angry with someone that you wanted to get revenge? Oh yeah, like when my skateboard got stolen last year. I wanted to find out who it was and make them pay. Uh-huh, and what happens when you feel this way? My insides start to boil and I feel like I want to explode! That's exactly what we're talking about today. Explosions? Uh, more like how to avoid feeling that way. Today we're going to talk about anger and how we can defuse the anger bomb with self-control. I see what you did there. Clever, I know. <laughs> Anyways, there's a book in the Bible called Nehemiah, and it's all about a guy named Nehemiah. So what's Nehemiah got to be angry about? He's got a whole book named after him. He actually had a lot of reasons why he could have been angry. You see, Nehemiah had gotten some really bad news. The wall in his hometown of Jerusalem had been torn down, and the gates were burned with fire. This meant that all of their enemies were able to sneak in and take whatever they wanted. Okay, that's something to be angry about for sure. Nehemiah prayed to God and decided to rush back home to Jerusalem to help rebuild the wall. He knew he couldn't do it alone, so he rallied everyone in the town to come help. Can we rebuild it? Yes, we can! Here's the problem. There were lots of mean people who did not want to see the wall go back up. One of them was named Sandballot. Wait, there was a guy named Sandollar? Uh, no, Sandballot. Oh, gotcha, Sandcastle. No, Sandballot. Uh, anyways, <laughs> Sandballot had all sorts of mean things to say to Nehemiah. Oh, and I bet Nehemiah had some mean things to say right back to him. Oh yeah, well... Actually, Nehemiah didn't say anything mean back to him. He prayed to God and kept working. Sanballat did not like this and got more people to make fun of everyone who was working on the wall. Sanballat and his gang even threatened to kill the workers. I bet that made Nehemiah turn so green. Oh, smash! Not quite. Instead of fighting back, he asked God to deal with the people who were making him angry. God helped Nehemiah have self-control. And even though he was bullied and had lots of reasons to be angry or get revenge, he stayed focused on God's help and rebuilt the wall in record time. Wait a second. Nehemiah found out the wall was torn down, he was made fun of, his life was even threatened, and even though he may have been angry, he was able to stay calm and have self-control? Yep, that's exactly right. You see, we'll all experience anger, but it's what we do when we are angry that can help or hurt the situation. 
So when I don't get what I want, or if someone makes fun of me, I might get angry, but it's how I respond that makes a huge difference. That's right. Or if someone is angry with me, I don't have to be angry back at them. You got it. When we feel anger creeping in, God will give us self-control. As always, you guys are amazing. I know. I feel better now. I hope you feel better now. As always, man, be sure to join us next week as we dig more into the How I Feel series. Till then, follow us on Instagram and TikTok at wildfire underscore FSC. See y'all later. Everyone, I need you to stop what you're doing right now. Get in the car and go ahead and pull up to 2021 West Liddell Road. Giving away free food. Stronger right now. Yes, Lord. We are stronger right now as we father. We thank you for the strength right now. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As you work as you work in this family. Yes, Lord. Thank you for them right now. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus,